Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here of Serpent X Tech and Team Red Miner came out with another update, 10.12. And it's been incrementally getting better since the 10.10 release or when Iron Fish Mainnet, I believe, launched. Don't quote me on that. And they've been doing pretty good updates. But we got a remarkable improvement on Polaris cards. So I just want to talk about the update with you, share some of my results and data, and then let you go about your day. So I appreciate you clicking on this video. Make sure to hit the like button. Now, Discord or their Discord will notify you when there's a new update in the announcements channel. So if you keep an eye on the Discord, if you are signed in, you will be able to be notified when there's a new update. What the updates include is the in increased hash rate for Ironfish about five to six percent on all gpus but then polaris cards are seeing a an even better improvement around 10 to 11 percent now the actual results may be close but they will vary and they might be within margin of error additionally they removed the ironfish user graffiti option and fixed dual mining with zilliqa so those are some of the mark improvements that they made they made some improvements as well on the 11 revision uh, which is the low hash rate on the rdna3 gpus and what's interesting is Polaris cards, which include, as you can see here, the 540, 540X, 550, 560, 570, 580s, um, and 590s are still out there. They're still being utilized and they're still being mined on. And what I had originally with the 10.10 .10 release was I was bumping into an issue where my 590 was falling off. If you're looking at the screenshot right in front of you, you will see I only have seven GPUs when it should, or excuse me, eight GPUs when it should be nine um but the 590 is just not on here right now i don't know why uh it, it would tend to crash on that revision and so i was only getting 53 giga hash and if the polaris card was able to stay on long term and not crash whether it's driver errors or what have you um it would probably be around 57 or so uh giga hash total for mining this blake uh variant that ironfish is using now, I have uh, tested out additional items like uh, 10.11 and 10.12. Let me go ahead and show you that now. But we did go up between different revisions about 5 to 6%. So here's 10.11 on screen. So 10.10, .10, I could do it. I could have 53 giga hash, 57 if the 590 would stay online, but I was having issues with that. Obviously, uh, 0.11 increased us even further, as you will see here, to about 60 giga hash with all cards working and bumped up the Polaris card just a tad, just a tad from around 3.8 to 4.5, somewhere in that range with the exact same clocks and settings. Um, and it, it is showing at the pool. But then I moved on to 10.12 and we increased another five percent on top of that so as you can see here we're on that right now and as we move forward the hash rate starts to climb up and we sit around 63.4 and so when i busted out the calculator uh you know dividing 57 by 60 and then dividing 60 by 63.4 or 63.5 we were in that variation that team red miner provided so you're going to have a decent improvement in performance and probably a decent improvement in stability for your AMD rigs. Team Red Miner is one of my favorite miners overall because compared to some others, BZ is also good, but compared to some other miners that allow you to utilize your uh, AMD GPUs, uh, Team Red Miner seems to be the most stable, has the least amount of driver conflicts and crashes, and now here they are providing us uh, a decent, uh, you know, incremental uplifts over time with their miner releases. So check them out. I have a link down in the description. If you need help, updating this right you just got to go to the flight sheet uh, let me go down to the ironfish flight seat so i just chose the 10.10 .10, the old revision right and when i click setup and config i just choose an older one because the command you're going to run is going to overwrite that particular file for now um, and then i go to run and then i run this command right here uh, i will try to put it in the description but i'm pretty sure youtube is going to mess it up so what i would suggest doing is maybe uh pause the screen and notate this i'm sure some of you already done it it's just a matter of updating the version number and making sure you have the correct path right or the file path 
uh, specified in this particular miner, but I will try to put it in the description if it will let me. Uh, I'll have to comment it out possibly. If not, pause the screen and copy it down. But real quick update, gets you a little bit extra hash on your AMD rigs for Ironfish, and I know Ironfish mining is not as profitable as some would like it to be, but it is profitable for some, and there's been a lot of uh, interest in the overall project, despite some of the conflicts I have or concerns I have personally about it. So always do your own research on whatever projects you're mining, but as far as performance, Team Red Miner has uh, taken it up an extra 5 to 6% for all GPUs, but then an additional 10 or 11% on Polaris cards. Do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.